Hi. So a few weeks back, we spoke about a change that Microsoft Teams introduced in Microsoft Teams meeting recordings that all recorded files now will be saved under OneDrive for business or SharePoint Online. And likewise, there are many changes that's happening almost every day with Microsoft Office 365 platform. The integration with OneDrive and SharePoint is becoming more and more, you know, in depth. So considering those facts, it is very important that we must understand how to use OneDrive uh, in your computer or a laptop or a, a device that you're using. So today in this video, we are going to focus more on how to configure OneDrive on your PC. We also need to consider the storage consumption impact that it is going to bring into your PC hard drives. Let's now see how can we synchronize OneDrive to your PC. You can go to office.com and you will find all the office app, apps which is available for you that includes OneDrive and go there and then locate your OneDrive. You will see it here on the left OneDrive or if you click over here it will also display your OneDrive. Go OneDrive and then you've got something called sync. Ensure that you've clicked on my files. Click sync. It will ask you to open Microsoft OneDrive and click open. It is now asking me to sign in. Let me sign in. Just provide your password and that's it. You are now synchronizing OneDrive directly onto files on your PC. This is the location. If you want to change the location, you can always change it. Let me create a new location. Yeah, select the folder. So this is going to be saved under this location. Go next. Now, when you configure it, it will tell you this option. Like, you know, do you want to synchronize your desktop documents and pictures to OneDrive? If you want to do that, you can do it. If you really don't want to synchronize to OneDrive, you can uncheck them. I go with the recommendation. Let's continue. We are done and go next. All your files are ready and on demand. So these, these icons are very, very important. Cloud kind of an icon, which means the files are available for you on demand, which is online only, which is which means it will not consume your space on your drive. And the second one, with a tick mark, this is available on drive. You want some of the folders to be always available offline, then you must ensure that you have this tick mark enabled. So that's the that's the basic indication of each files and its status let's go next if you want to synchronize the same files onto your mobile as well like for example your tablet or your mobile be it android ios you can get the application from the app store or play store and then you can synchronize similar way now if you go back to my computer onedrive is available all those files are available here and you see the symbol out there it's all cloud which means it is not synchronized the moment that i open any of these files for example now you see that the icon has changed the icon is clearly changed to a tick mark which means it's available on this device so now you can see that it is also synchronizing my desktop some of the files in my desktops like for example the shortcuts and i don't have much things on my desk desktop so the desktop is synchronizing the files available in the documents are also getting synchronized and my pictures as well and for example if you want to ensure that you need to have all these files always available for example even if it's not connected to internet then you have something called always keep it on this device you can do it on the file that you can see that now the icon has changed to all green with a tick mark and if you want a folder to be available always on this PC then you can select the same on the folder as well. So once you do that and the later if you want to change it, you can go and untick this. So the next possible requirement will be what if to clear some space. The space on your local drive. So how do you do that? You can do that in you know, some of the files which you don't need to keep it always here. Select those folders, files and right click and say free up space. You know, the moment that you say free up space, those will become available on cloud. 
so which means it is going to clear the space from your PC. So yes, uh, we have seen how effectively or how we manage the OneDrive for business or OneDrive synchronization with your PC, especially we spoke about the Windows 10 machines and more or less the same in you know Mac machines as well. So you can do the same, you can download OneDrive application on a Mac device and do the same on Mac as well. And in that way you can flexibly manage or you can interact with the files in OneDrive more easily than you can think of. And uh, with the new changes that is bringing in by Microsoft almost every day, there are files that get saved into OneDrive or SharePoint. So you must know and you must configure such things on your PC. So it is time for us to wind up for today and I will be coming back with another video very soon. Till then, bye bye.